The Spectre Gauntlet is a new weapon available in the Burning Shores DLC and you'll all want to get your hands on this. It adds a whole new way to fight enemies and as you can see it allows air combat. It has two modes, a powerful long ranged railgun ability and the rapid firing shard barrage mode. This allows for a very versatile weapon that's a lot of fun to play with. I'll go into all that a bit more but first I'll show you how to get the gun and I recommend getting it as soon as you can. To unlock it all you need to do is the stars in their eyes quest and then you'll be able to analyze and collect the spectre gauntlet. But there's also a powerful upgrade available that unlocks the railgun ability and for this you need to complete the side quest in his wake and eventually you'll loot an enemy weapon and this is where you'll get the railgun component. As I said earlier this weapon has two modes. Both of these modes allow you to fire freely or tag the enemy first and then fire to cause much more damage. For the railgun, if you tag first, which you can see from the light blue circle, then fire at the marked target area, it will cause significantly more damage, which even causes splash damage to damage other nearby enemies. To tag or mark the enemy, just use the R1 weapon stamina ability, and I also like to use the concentration ability to help me make the shot. When you see the crosshairs form this shape, you are fully charged and ready for maximum damage. Now for the Shard Barrage mode. If you tag or mark the enemy, it allows your projectiles to track and home into your enemies, even if you're not aiming at them. This makes it great for those running and gunning situations. You saw a sneak peek of this at the start of the video, but I think the most fun thing they have added is the ability for us to shoot this new weapon whilst we glide on our shield wing. It makes for some amazing shootouts and surprise ambushes. You can also use the railgun mode from up in the air, but it's much harder to aim. I think it's the coolest and most fun visual they have added. What do you think? Are you all a fan of this new addition? This new weapon is powerful against all targets. The only enemy I haven't seen it perform well on is the leader rebel type human enemies, but I'll be testing that further. You'll have a lot of fun using it in game. It also helps with those invisible enemies like the stalkers because when you tag them you continue to see the tag even if the enemy is gone invisible. Also it only uses cheap resources to craft ammo which is great because you don't need to farm those expensive resources like volatile sludge. All you'll need is shards and sparkers. However as it uses a new ammo type it means you'll need to upgrade a new satchel so you can hold more ammo with you out in the wild. Because we want to be using our tagging or marking stamina ability as much as possible you should equip an outfit with weaves and perks that increase weapon stamina so you don't have to wait all the time for your stamina to replenish. Concentration bonuses should be your next focus if you enjoy long range combat with the railgun or slowing down those close range fights with the shard barrage. There are new powerful weaves available at the merchant in fleet's end that really help you out with this. All of this footage you have seen is on the ultra hard difficulty so that's the proof of the power of this new weapon and the both the modes. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching. If you did enjoy please hit the like button. I'll be doing more in depth reviews of all of the other new DLC content so subscribe so you don't miss it.